content. But I, and I don't mean this personally with you. I, that's so not. I know you. But I know problems ain't gonna stop. But if I could get to use this property to clean up my neighborhood until he builds, I don't think I'm doing a bad thing. Unless if somebody has a piece of property and they want me to put put my trailer on, great. I'll go for it. Well, well this is a good Island. start. I'll go for it. Now, Coney Island, you also do? I did for the parks department. Okay. There was a boat up on the beach on, on Coney Island, and they asked me to come and get it. I went there. They pushed it in the water with an excavator uh, two Saturdays ago, and I personally towed it from the beach of Car uh, Coney Island, which would be near the pier, and I towed it to Mill Basin with my own money. Why do you when he builds. When he builds, and then you got to move. Where would you move? Well, uh, across that bridge when we get there. I personally don't think he's going to build for years. I'm hoping he never builds. But the, the fines would have prevented that. The fines are never going to happen. That's right. If you talk to the DEC, he's they'll fight them off. It will take them over two years to get him into court, and the fines won't matter enough. Right, that's all right. right. But that's two years. Right two years. Right he's not going to get any fines. With, but it's Why time. Why don't they give him a fine? We're not stopping him getting a fine. You want to give him fines? Call up. Let him get the fines. I hope he gets a fine every day. I don't care. Well, let, let me ask business. you this. Let me ask you this. There, there have been suggestions that, all right, you have a trailer on the property. You are an active business. But we're also doing favors for the community. So but are you an active business with a business license from the state of New York or the city of New York? Do you have the legal permits to do what you're doing is the question. I'm retired fine. Okay? So, I did my things for the city. Now when I'm retired, I want to clean my neighborhoods. There's nothing wrong with cleaning Okay. I mean, and I show that I do it. I am not talking about doing it. I show I'm doing it. I'm doing two more for the ones that, for the room. I'm doing one for uh, up behind the sanitation. I already have planned five more boats to tow and crush. I don't see anybody else picking up the dog. Basically, the questions I ask you are the questions that are asked in this community every day. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has any other questions of you. I uh, would want. I want. To, I we wanted to give you the board help. discuss, giving you the time. Uh, Gene explained it the last time. He felt that he did not explain it sufficiently. <laughs> you guys put me on the cross for it too, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you owe me. Anybody? Any else? Anybody else? How many votes? More votes than we did. 150 votes. How many more well, I know Ralph told me once that there were 60 votes at the end of this creek. Yep, and they're all from our neighborhood. Nobody from another neighborhood was going to vote. There's a lot of renters that they just left the vote. You can't say there's a lot of renters. There's a percentage. It's a question of all the people. Oh, we're in the Are they sure? I, I just uh, something that was said that struck me. Uh, I'm sorry, will you yeah. leave that for about rezoning? If there's one thing I know about from Sheep's Head Bay is how to get a rezoning started. I know you guys are up against it with this developer. Do you want the assistance and the contacts that we have in Sheep's Head Bay to get this ball rolling? Do you want to do walking tours with city planning? Do you want to get this process going to where you could get a certified plan to rezone the neighborhood? Really? Have you guys taken the time to check the zoning? Well, and see what as a matter zoning. of fact, I had the zoning booked earlier. And okay. I, have a, I brought with me the map, the layout of the building C plans I'm building from Lake on around the Yacht Club and, and on around that circle or that cold. However, uh, I gotta be facetious, Gene, because okay. I like you. Uh, you know, if, if we followed the example of Sheep's at Bay and rezoning, we would look like them and Zano. Listen, we've learned a lot from what we did, though. Right. Once the community got the ball rolling, the reason why Sheep and Zano looks the way it did is because the politicians in the area said, we don't know anything about downzoning, we'll get back to you. And we waited two 
two years thinking that they would. That was our mistake. Once we started getting the ball rolling, it, it took a year to get done. You guys are up against the clock with this developer. Right. You see what's going on. You saw what happened in Chief Bay. Let's not take another year. Let's get actual movement from city planning and let's get a plan developed to see what zoning you have here, what zoning could fit better here, and maybe stop him before he puts his foundations down. Foundations are down. He put the foundation down on Knapp Street. Right. Uh, he, he's working on Knapp Street, but Knapp Street is, that's a manufactured zone area. They would, yes. 